Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, last Friday we learned of the death of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. It is firstly correct that our sincere sympathies and condolences are extended to Your Majesty the Queen, who has lost her much-loved husband of 73 years, who was her pillar of support and ever-dependable advisor for all those years, as the Queen has carried out duties here and throughout the world. Prince Philip's children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren are now left without the role model they all looked up to and sought wise advice from. They are all in our thoughts and prayers at this most difficult of times for all the family. We cannot ever underestimate the lasting positive impact on young lives Prince Philip had during his long and fulfilling life and indeed will still have for generations to come. This is true not just in the United Kingdom, but on a global scale. This is a hard-earned but thoroughly justified way for the Prince's long life to be remembered. Generations of young people will continue to be helped thanks to the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme, including many here in Northern Ireland. Mr. Speaker, the Prince was always a great supporter of the armed forces who he served with during the, the World War II and beyond, and he was among the last of the war veterans who deserves the greatest respect for his service. The Prince was a man of great intellect, and in the days since his death, we have heard of his deep interest and influence in engineering, sport, ecology, and theology. All of us today can learn a lesson from the Prince's life to public service. We all will mourn with his family. Theirs endures tremendous tremendous loss. And again, Mr. Speaker, on behalf of myself and East Londonderry constituents, we offer our sincere condolences and sympathies to the Queen and family on the death of the Duke. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.